All right, so we have we have started our rodeo and we did a cowboy, and now I want to do um, a different type. We're gonna do a cowgirl, but we're gonna do a different type of cowgirl. Okay, so we're gonna draw her whole body, but she's gonna be kind of small. Um, we're gonna start in the middle of our paper, and we're gonna draw a cowboy hat or a cowgirl hat. So I'm gonna start with a line that looks like that. Kind of looks like. Um, a seven backwards and then I'm gonna go like this they don't have to touch and now we're gonna go from up here we're gonna go up and back like a big smile up and back right and then those cowboy hats cowgirl hats they have like a little um, ribbon right there and you can add that will be like um, the part that flips up a little bit. All right, now we're gonna pretend like she is in the wind. So her hair is gonna be going like this and it's gonna cover her face so we don't have to draw her face. So I'm gonna kinda do like a zigzag line. Zigzag line, okay? And then we're gonna have her back, a straight line. So this will be like her waist. And then we're just gonna put like a skirt on her. So it's gonna go out, out, and then you can kind of do like a little wavy line there, make those connect. Now she's gonna have an arm, so I'm gonna do a very, like, not a 90 degree angle, but um, more of an obtuse angle. And then, oops, I messed up. Good thing I'm using a pencil. All right, so I'm gonna kinda go boop, boop. And we're gonna pretend like she's holding a um, bouquet of flowers, and I'm just making curly lines for these flowers to make it, let's just make it easy cheesy right this second, okay? And then if, this is just practice, and if you, these are leaves, and if you want to add something more difficult later, you can, all right? So she's holding flowers, this is her arm, her dress, her skirt, and now we're gonna draw some legs. But she's gonna be wearing some boots. So, don't want those legs to be too, too big, look weird. And then we're gonna go, oh, you can see me messing up here. All right, so it's gonna be doot, doot. Doot, doot, all right? Then this is a cowboy boot, cowgirl boot. It's gonna go down. Here it's gonna go out just a little bit. And then here's our heel of our boot. And of course you can design your boot if you want to, but it's kind of small so you don't really need to. And then you're gonna have just a little bit to show on the other side, boop. All right, so that's our girl. And now we can just kind of add some um, stuff. I could add some lines in her hair for shadows. All right, so we're gonna add horizon line, but this isn't the horizon line. This is going to be, um, we're going to have like a river right here. Boop, boop, boop. And we have some hills. And they can overlap a little bit. We in the hill country. We're not, but. You can have the sun setting some birds flying I'm gonna turn my paper okay, I have the river okay and then um, have some tall grass we'll we'll do more of this when we're coloring it and then you could have some of these flowers. You could have some blue bonnet-like flowers, because that's our state flower. 
but you know we can't be picking blue bonnets, so she's not holding any. She's only holding the other flowers. This is how I would draw a blue bonnet for just a simple. And then after this, we could color it. Um, we could maybe paint it with watercolors. Um, or we could do a little bit of both. Now, if you're going to use watercolors, do not use markers and watercolors because these markers will run. Um, if you're going, but you could use like trace with crayons and then use watercolors. Which is what I think I'm going to do. So I'm going to add like the grass, just like the, the big tall grass. If you want more flowers in this, please put more flowers. And you can always use some that was darker green and then you can add some lighter green grass isn't always just the, all the same color.
So I traced everything with a crayon and now I'm gonna use watercolors. This is what watercolors look like. Sometimes it's just one of these, sometimes it's two. And the big thing about watercolors is the color doesn't come off until you wake it up. And you gotta wake it up by using water. So you gotta put drip, 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 drip. And you And you change the color, you gotta clean it off. And then get a new color. Now you wanna try to not do the colors right next to each other. Um, let it dry a little bit. So I'm gonna go and do some blue. Need more water, wake it up, wake it up. Wake up, sleepyhead. Dip it in the water. 